Hello friends, I am Ayantika and in this video I am going to discuss about the vegetative reproduction in a bryophyte Markensia. I have made videos about another bryophyte Rickshia which is in the BSc syllabus and here I will be discussing about the vegetative reproduction of Markensia species. Markensia it is um, it is a liverwort and uh, the vegetative reproduction is much more common and dominant in Markensia species. This is because uh, the vegetative reproduction in Markensia it occurs in when there is abundance of water and also if um, there, there is no abundance of water then also it can reproduce vegetatively but because Markensia it is a dioecious species which means that uh, each um, uh, thallus has only one type of um, sex organ that is there will be a single plant having the male gametophore and another plant having uh, female gametophore. So for uh, sexual reproduction it is dependent upon many factors. The first factor is that um, for the sexual reproduction um, opposite type of thallus that is the opposite sex thallus has to be present in the vicinity. Again uh, the sexual reproduction it has uh, sperms and uh, that has to swim in water to reach the, uh, the female gamete. So um, there, uh, there should be sufficient amount of water. Uh, in the atmosphere especially during the rainy season only uh, this type of um, that is uh, sexual reproduction occur. So as because uh, the sexual reproduction it is uh, limited by various factors uh, so vegetative reproduction in Markensia is very common and more dominant just because it is a dioecious species. So in this video, I am going to discuss about three very common uh, vegetative or asexual reproductive strategy in Markensia. The first one is fragmentation, which is common even we find this type of fragmentation in Rickshia, where uh, as the thallus ages, the uh, the posterior region that is this portion posterior region the cells they get decayed or they die off and this uh, depth and decay of the cells when it reaches this portion that is the dichotomy this portion then uh, both the lobes of the thallus they get separated and each of these lobe each of this lobe again they develop dichotomy they branch by dichotomy and they form a separate cell thallus what we see in uh, this c this is what uh, how the fragmentation is occurring in markensia this is a very dominant uh, uh, process of our sexual reproduction and um, this uh, this is a process by which uh, markensia they reproduce very rapidly another is the advantageous branches now advantageous branches from the very name we know that these are branches that are produced from where uh, they are not supposed to be produced. Usually in Markensia they have a dichotomous branching. This type of branching Markensia has. So we, the thallus of Markensia is like this. So the, instead of this dichotomous branching, so if more branching occurs, then this thallus uh, and ap apical region will show a more notched structure and then there will be this type of branching will be present and again if there is more branching then this type of branching will be present so in a rooset type so 
So this type of branching are common in Marquensia, but when we are talking about advantageous branches, they arise from the ventral surface or lower surface of the thallus, which is shown in in this uh, uh, section D. Here it is shown that usually advantageous branches they appear from the ventral surface just like this. They might appear from the ventral surface, they get detached from the uh, parent thallus and develop into a new thalli. But uh, they can also be formed at the, from the base of the receptacle of the male gametophore or the female gametophore which is the case here. Here the male receptacle, this is the gametophore stalk, this one is the gametophore stalk, then this one is the gametophore receptacle and from these are the advantageous branches that develop from the ventral surface of receptacle. So, adventitious branches in Marquensia, they develop from two regions. One is the ventral surface of the thallus or the ventral surface of the receptacle of the gametophore. Gemma formation. Now, uh, the dorsal surface of the or the upper surface of Marquensia, it bears a certain structure, certain specialized structure, cup-like structure called gemma receptacle. And this inside the gemma receptacle, they have gemma. So this gemma, they are born very close to the midrib region. So, uh, this is the midrib region that I have drawn in the middle and uh, then we see the gemma receptacles growing very close to the midrib region and this uh, development of gemma it is acropetal which means that the uh, gemma that is very close to the apex that is this one it is the youngest it is the youngest and the gemma that is present in the posterior region that is this one it is the oldest this is this one is the oldest gemma and this one is the youngest gemma now uh, this uh, structure that we have drawn is actually uh, the structure that we have drawn here is the receptacle of gemma this one is the receptacle of gemma we see that this receptacle it is a cup shaped structure with a denticulated margin so inside this uh, cup like structure we see gemma this concave say, shaped um, lens shaped structure is called gemma now gemma it is multicellular it is flattened disc like and it does not have any dorso ventral differentiation which means that any part that f any uh, side of the uh, disc like structure that faces the ground will develop rhizoids and if the opposite part or opposite side of the disc also um, reaches the ground uh, faces the ground then also there will be uh, rhizoidal development. So, there is no uh, differentiation of the dorsal ventral side in the gemma. And uh, the gemma, uh, when it gets matured, it looks like this. Here in, in B, in figure B, we see the matured gemma. So, the main difference between C and B is the epic, uh, this the notch like structure. When a gemma uh, matures it develops two notches on the opposite side this uh, this is the structure of gemma and it is single celled so it has a got a single cell stock and a mature gemma it contains four type of cells one is the oil containing cell which is colorless that is it does not have chloroplast it contains alloplast or oil storing organ instead of uh, chloroplast so these are the oil uh, oil uh, cells 
this is the first type of cell then is the parenchyma to a cell that contain chloroplast they are green colored and these are called the parenchyma to a cell so one is the oil cell second is the parenchyma to a cells that is the green cells and then at the growing point we have parent uh, we have this uh, meristematic cells so the growing point will have meristematic cells then there is another type of colorless cells called the rhizoidal initial this rhizoidal initial they develop from uh, this rhizoidal initial rhizoids develop so there are four type of cells in any matured gemma and gemma is a flattened curve like structure which is stalked and so it develops very close to the midrib and it is uh, it is stalked and it is uh, when present in the receptacle it is intermingled with mucilage here here in this figure d we see that this gemma like structure this one it is intermingled with mucilage here here these are the mucilage here this one and this one these are the mucilage here so when a uh, water uh, one drop of water falls inside the cup inside this cup of uh, gemma so uh, it uh, it hits the gemma and it uh, gets detached uh, from the stalk and by a uh, splash mechanism this uh, gemma it is it is a uh, uh, dispersed to a very high um, uh, to a very long distance say for example even it can reach 120 cm away from its parent thallus so uh, we see that the method of a uh, splash mechanism of uh, gemma's dispersion it help to colonize newer area especially during the rainy season that is why uh, gemma development occurs mainly during the rain so season. Uh, the other two form that is the fragmentation and the uh, advantageous shape its uh, branches they can occur in any season and but gemma is the first during the range of, of uh, how gemma looks and earlier i have uh, just given you the diagram now we see that these these are the two notches and they have got many type of cells and this is a single gemma that is present inside this gemma cup or gemma receptacle so uh, this uh, gemma it is it is formed from any dorsal uh, surface cell the gemma initial is any dorsal surface cell that undergoes repeated division first to form the upper and the lower cell that is any uh, um, any dors any dorsal surface cell so these are the dorsal surface cell it undergoes any of the cell undergoes division to form upper and lower cell and uh, the lower cell this one it forms the stalk and the upper cell that is this one it again divides into row of four, uh, four cells so row of four cells so then by after transverse division vertical division occur so in this way it forms this gemma like structure so during the when uh, during the rainy season when by splash cup mechanism when rain drop it throws the gemma to much uh, longer uh, to a far away place then the gemma it uh, falls on the ground and the surface that faces the um, we know that gemma is a flattened uh, structure so the surface that faces the ground uh, develop rhizoids from the rhizoidal initial and it grows out into a thallus so uh, the gemma it is a this type of structure so 
uh, we know that this notched region it has got growing point so as the gemma grows it looks like something like this type of structure and when this intermediate region cell dies then two new thallus is formed from a single gemma so this is how the gemma germination occur but one thing is that it has been found out by scientists that gemma cannot germinate inside the receptacle it cannot germinate because it is inhibited germination is inhibited by auxin that is secreted by the growing apex of the thallus so these are the limitations so for germination of gemma water or a uh, rain water is very much essential because it has to move away from the parent thallus just to germinate because the parent thallus as we know that they are grown very uh, close to the midrib very close to the apical region so the apical uh, region uh, auxin that is secreted can easily diffuse and inhibit the germination of gemma so this was all about the um, asexual reproduction again i should be saying that in all the bryophytes the asexual reproduction is very much dominant because uh, for sexual reproduction um, you need a lot of water and also in dioecious species that is in a species where different type of sex organ is produced in different individual so in the, that type of species for sexual reproduction to happen two uh, types of um, plants that is the male and the female plant should be present in close vicinity and it uh, fertilization can occur during the rainy season because we know that uh, they have a flagellated sperm the bryophytes they have a flagellated sperm so that is why uh, due to this limitation sexual reproduction is less common in the bryophytes this is also because of the fact that uh, um, uh, bryophytes they are intermediate between algae and pteridophytes they are actually the amphibian of the plant kingdom so some of the species they are aquatic some of them species they are living in land but their reproductive cells that is the sperm it is flagellated so water is a very essential factor for sexual reproduction to happen for the same reason they take to um, vegetative reproduction or asexual reproduction to propagate Uh, the genetic clone of uh, the same thallus so uh, earlier i have made videos on rickshia and uh, now i will be making some videos about uh, marcantia and i will also cover anthoceros uh, pelia and uh, fumaria sargassum so if you like this video do share it with your friends and please do subscribe my channel it will uh, encourage me and if you have any doubts or you want me to make any uh, uh, any video in any topic do write it in the comment section and uh, i have uh, put all the links of the um, bryophyte uh, videos i have made so far in the uh, description box so if you want to uh, just uh, have a um, videos about other type of bryophytes to click in the link in the description box you will get through the uh, videos i have also made videos about the algae about fungi and uh, you will uh, you can go to my channel and we have those videos you can and thank you again for watching this video